All right, what's up guys? Welcome back. So today we're going to be checking out a brand new short horror game. Welcome to Decadence. Decadence is a psychological horror game. It's an immersive experience full of nerve-wracking events that will make you question reality itself. As you look forward to your wedding anniversary with your wife, what is this unnerving presence that keeps chasing you around? I, Anita, take you, Dean, to be my husband. For better, for worse, in sickness and in health, till death do us part. Oh. Okay. I got a little dark. Welcome to my... Welcome to my humble home. Here we are. This is my hallway. There is a strange stain on my wall. I, I've got no idea what that is. Hopefully, it's not my wife's doing, you know? Apparently, my ceilings are also rotten. Yeah. Uh, here we are. You have oh. Sure, sweetheart. Sure. Wedding picture. Memories from June 12th, 1982. So this is 1986, so we've been married for four years. Interesting. Okay. Wow. This looks nice. You know, this is what I... This is what I enjoy about these indie games. Sometimes it could be a group of 10, 20, 30 people, less, two people, one person. Seeing indie games just come to this is, is it's always fascinating because it looks so good. That's impressive. I mean, look at look at the walls. Completely stained. Terrible, disgusting. But it sells the atmosphere. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. Yeah, I don't think so. What else we got here? Oh, a wine bottle, a family gift from my mother on our wedding day. It puts a smile on my face every time. Plays zero out of, okay, so we gotta play something here. Oh, is that Ronald McDonald? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. Ghostbusters, nice. What does it say here? DH plumbing, 24 seven services, leaks, clogs, drains, and pipes. That explains the rotten ceilings and walls and stuff. So, hi, Dean. Uh, long time no talk. How's the newlywed life treating you? I've been missing you. Uh, I've been missing you, too, and figured it's about time we caught up. So, here I am penning you this letter in hopes of reconnecting and maybe even convincing you to pay your dear old mom a visit. I hope you and Anita have been settling well in your, in your new apartment. It saddens me that you guys are so far away, but I'm sure this was the best decision for you, too. Don't forget that the secret to a long marriage is to treat your wife right. You can focus on your career, but don't forget that your priority should always be to provide for your family. Speaking of, your father and I can't wait for you to give us grandchildren. Don't keep us waiting too long. Life is too short to let distance keep us apart. The doors are wide open, waiting for you to walk right in. There will always be space here for you. Sending you all my love. Okay can't really read the other letter it's thank you for your attention to this matter sincerely effective from april 1986 monthly rent okay maybe they weren't paying the rent or something i can't really read all of it so i'm not even gonna try so we have to gather something from here ah well that makes sense perfect okay Good. We've got the knife and fork. Ah. Perfection. Alright, this is good. Off to a good start. Oh. <laughs> Hi there. Who could be calling at this time? It's kind of late. Hello? Keep on forgetting. Oh, stop complaining. I was running late for work. Uh, okay. We'll do it now. Some pretty... <sighs> Thank you, Dean. I'll be home soon. Some pretty good voice acting. 
Okay, so where is... Locked. Use peephole. Uh, who... Who is that? Okay. I don't like that. I'm gonna go the other direction. <laughs> Just in case. And more hallways. Perfection. Now, where did she put that ring? Okay. What do we have here? This is our bathroom. Quite disgusting. What? You guys are showering in here? Like... Wow. Anything here? Oh, hold on. Oh, there's the ring. Oh, okay, perfect. Alright, so I'm assuming maybe... Oh, God. There's a bedroom. <laughs> this is where we like to... How did she put that ring? What? You just grabbed it. Are you fucking insane? Uh... Okay, her side. Place the ring. Ooh, is that my wife? <laughs> you know? Nice. Alright, let's place the ring here. Where... Perfect. Oh, fuck! What was that? Alright, bro. Come on, don't do this. Sweetheart! Uh... Okay. What the? This is the second time this week. I have to clean this up before she gets home. Second time? Dean, I brought my keys. Can you unlock the back door for me? Alright, that's three for three, sweetheart. Alright? Three for three. Don't let it happen again. What the fuck? Wait a minute. I know there's that little unlimited loop and cycle you go through in these PT games. And now the shadow is different. So does that mean that shadow is in here now? Things have changed. Okay. Still our anniversary date. There's a cassette here now. Can't play the... Saudi arms sales saved. I think somebody's in the shower. These books weren't here before, were they? Stephen King? I don't know, maybe they were. Maybe my mind's playing tricks on me. Oh, hey, Dean. Can you clean the mess you left in the living room? You left your books all over the table. What mess? <sighs> Fine, give me a second. I knew that this was, uh... Not normal. So it's funny because she's here now, right? But when you look through the people, that's that that shadowy thing is not there anymore. So that was her. Which is kind of fucking creepy. One book, two book, three books. Perfect. Alright, honey, I got the books. Where do you want me to place them? Apparently you you wear the pants in this relationship. I'll do as you please. Just don't hurt me. Did you put the books away yet? Yeah. Uh, oh, I gotta put them away. Okay. Where do I... Hold on. They probably don't even go in my room. They'll probably go here, on the shelf. Do we not have a shelf for books? Yes. Perfect. Excellent. There we go. I think I can go for some fresh air. Ah, uh, oh, shit. No. <laughs> Anita? What was that? What was that? Can you check it Can out? Can you check it Fuck. out? Fuck! Oh, shit. Sure. <sighs> Bro, that got me so bad. Pause. Where's the water? <clears throat> that got me. <clears throat> Alright, the stain is getting bigger. What's the dealio? Oh, she likes to see her gift. Better hide it in the closet before she gets home. I don't like that. 
I don't like that one fucking bit, dude. <laughs> Dear Dean, I hope this letter finds you well and that you are finding the strength to keep your head up after these last couple of days. I wanted to write to you. I've got goosebumps right now because I'm very concerned about your well-being, especially after this traumatic event. I cannot fear your pain as much as you do, but please be aware that I am always here for you as a friend and someone who can you can lean on. I have not heard from you lately, and I worry that you are struggling to cope with everything. Remember that you have not, uh, that you do not have to shoulder this burden alone. I understand that someone going through what you have uh, that some. Someone going through what you have would find it difficult to take care of themselves. But please keep in mind that you were, that we have your best interest at heart. And uh, pushing you away, pushing us away will only hurt you more in the long run. Don't hesitate to reach out. Your friend, Baptist. Baptist? That's pure silence. I hate this. Ah! You are, f you're an animal. This is psychological abuse. All right, so obviously his wife died. Uh, pretty obvious. I mean, I kind of knew that coming in here. That's mom's letter. Milk, eggs, bread, bananas, butter. Shit, all right. It's a little messier than before. Some of the paintings and portraits are also stained. Where's the wedding ring, by the way? I don't know who did that, but that's evil. Those are all my all my pills. I mean, this has got to be like the worst fucking feeling in the world. You know, like somebody going through some shit like this. It is unfathomable. You cannot even pretend to imagine what that could be like. Now, I'm locked in here. I don't know what to do. I'm a little nervous. I'm talking nonsense. There's a wine bottle for my mother. I probably ought to grab that and chug it down. Maybe grab something else and smack myself across the head and just wake up. When, uh, you know, this night this nightmare is uh nothing but a nightmare. I'll turn on the TV for a little bit. Maybe that static noise can give me some ASMR. That's what I need right about now. Never mind. Can I read a book? No? I'm going kind of crazy here. Of course. Pick up the package. What the hell? I had the package there and I didn't even pick it up. What do we do with the package? Oh, open the closet. What the hell? Why would I want to do that? Fuck that, dude. Okay. That is creepy, bro. Oh my god. Oh no, no. Anita? Anita? Oh, Anita! Fucking bullshit. Oh, great. Anita? Are you okay? Not now. I need space to breathe, please. You're suffocating me. <laughs> what? Come out here and talk to me. Oh. Okay, so this guy actually sounds like Vito from Mafia. I also think that... He probably got abusive and killed her, now that I think about it. That tone, it's a little aggressive tone. There she goes. Hi there. Alright, let's go back. It's like the game wants you to look through that people, you know? Let's finish talking. Open the damn door! Oh. I'm sick and tired of your shit! I said leave me alone! Okay, hi. What the hell? I swear, and he was here. I, I heard her. Oh, God. The lights are off. Anita, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm 
sorry for what I've done. Don't scare me, please. Fuck, why is this so dark? Let's get out of here. Oh, God. All right. Yep, close the door. Oh, fuck! Okay. It's just fake. It's just a video game. Made by humans, such as myself. We're fine. Okay, this is a new letter. So, dear Dean, we hope this letter finds you well. We are writing to you uh, to address the matter that has come to our attention regarding your recent absence from work for six days without prior notice or explanation. Um, as, an inter uh, as an integral part of our team, your presence and commitment to your responsibilities are crucial for the smooth operation of this company. We kindly request that you provide us with an explanation for your absence during this uh, specified period. This will enable us to understand the circumstances surrounding your absence and explore potential ways to address any challenges you might be facing. To avoid any negative impact on your professional development and overall function of our team, we kindly request that you adhere to our attendance policy moving forward. We encourage you to schedule a meeting with our manager, Juliet, at your earliest convenience to discuss your recent absence and any underlying concerns you may have. Thank you for your attention to this matter. Sincerely, Arthur. Well, Arthur, you may go fuck yourself, right? I'm having pa family problems. I was going to say family problems, but clearly. That's not a proper word. I'm just trying to keep my mind busy here. You know, actually, turn that shit back on. Way too dark. Way too dark. It's crazy how PT came out, and then so many games try to do the same shit, right? And it works. Oh, we found a glitch. <laughs> Not so scary now, huh? Uh, it works because, you know, it's, it's the psychological aspect of the games that really... I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just going to shut up. I found a glitch. I'm scared. Let's just keep going. And there she is again. Back at it again, huh? That's my wife. That's why I married her, damn it. Clearly, she clogged the toilet again. Ooh, now I'm on top of the toilet. Two glitches in one chapter. Ooh, what? Hi! Oh. Why are you teasing me, girl? Come on now, don't play. Moving day. We took this picture the first, uh, when we first moved here. Brings back many memories. A new beginning. We're not the first to live in this apartment, and we don't, and we won't be the last. But we'll be the ones who never leave. I don't want to turn around. Something's going to be back there. <laughs> oh my god, bro. It's like, why, why, why are their hands there? Why? Why? That doesn't make sense. God, I hate when there's shit behind me. <sighs> wow. She's actually right there looking. Wow, so in the upcoming days, I kindly request you reschedule a meeting at your earliest convenience. This meeting will allow us to discuss a necessary legal procedure, including probate, asset distribution, and any other legal matters associated with the wife's estate. During this meeting, I will provide you with a, a comprehensive overview of the steps involved. Answer any questions. Rebecca Smith. Wow. Law firm. Shit, dude. I, man. Oh, wow. Mm -mm. Cassette tape seems to have been tampered with. Letter overdue payment to funeral services. Damn. Yikes. 
Clearly, we did something to her, right? We were mentally unstable. And clearly, we, we did something. And so... Now, this is the life we live. You know? This is actually really good, man. That's funny. Actually, really good. I need a crying on the voicemail. Oh, look at all the doors. <laughs> they're all locked, aren't they? Yes, of course they're all locked. One of them is going to be open, or she's going to be knocking on one or the other. Okay. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. Okay. I knew something was going to happen, so that I didn't fall for that one. But that was cool. That was cool. Good shit. That was good. That was good. Nita, sweetheart. What the fuck is that? Yo, bro, he's crazy. He's lost it. He's fully blown lost it. Sweetheart, listen. This is not real. Wow, dude. You look as beautiful as you did four years ago. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, Anita. I can't let you go. We'll be together forever. Even death could do us part. What? Wow. Dude, that was crazy. That was really good. That was really good. So, did we miss anything that kind of like went a little bit more into detail as to what happened in their relationship? I, I got the feeling that he got abusive for whatever reason. Maybe we missed a, a document or something. Um, maybe they'll release a full game to explain it more. But that, that was really good. Like just the atmosphere. It was like, what, 12 minutes long or something like that. And I felt honestly really creeped out. And that was excessively, excessively. That, well, that's not the right word I'm looking for. Extremely well done. I was going to say excessively well done, but that I, that was a really good indie horror game. Decadence. I'm going to be honest. I don't know what that means. I'm going to Google it. Moral or cultural decline as characterized by excessive indulgence in pleasure or luxury. I love when we find these short, sweet horror games, try them out, and just now I can live my life in peace for the next couple of days without a horror game. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop it a like. And uh, I'll catch you later.